guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2009 Buick Enclave CXL. This one is finished off in a silver green exterior, which really is a nice looking color on this vehicle. It has a beautiful metallic shine to it. Along the side you can see your body colored mirrors with turn signal indicators built in, as well as chrome door handles. And up top, tinted windows with more chrome accenting on them. Around the rear, you have dual exhaust down below, as well as rear backup sensors and a rear backup camera on this one. You can see your Enclave badge right there as well. And over here, this one is riding on Firestone Destination tires, which are in great shape. And they are P255 60R19s, so 19 inch alloy wheels. Rear disc brakes on this one, of course. Everything follows from this side, chrome door handles, your turn signal indicators built into the mirrors right there. And up front this one does have projector headlights, fog lights down below, and some chrome accenting up front as well as the chrome grille. does have your standard GM key fob with lock, unlock, your remote start, power trunk release, and panic. Like I just said, does have remote start. Just press and hold. And just like that it will fire up. It does have the gray leather interior, which is in excellent condition. This vehicle overall is just in amazing shape for the amount of miles that it has. We'll go ahead, start it up, just insert the key. And as you can see inside of this Enclave, this one does have 159,000 miles, but it is obvious that that this vehicle has been absolutely babied and is in excellent condition. Inside, you do have a partially wood and leather wrapped steering wheel right here with nice and light power steering. On the wheel itself, cruise control, audio system controls. On the door, up top, soft touch material. It all fits together great. More of the uh, wood grain trim around here as well as your power seat memory, chrome door handles, and uh, all of that down below. More storage down here, bottle holder, and the armrest itself is stitched padded leather. Over here, your headlight controls, they are automatic, push for fogs, you have your gauge dimmer right there, trunk, hood releases down below. On the dash itself, it's all soft touching here, I mean this really actually is a very high quality interior. In the center you can see your gauges, they are green backlit, and I promise uh, none of the displays or anything are flickering like that in person, that's just the camera doing that. You have your engine temperature gauge. Tachometer right there, fuel gauge in the center, multifunction display with your outside temperature and a compass, as well as your speedometer and battery voltometer. In the center, more of the wood grain trim on the dash, two air vents, and your analog clock right there. Down below, this one does have the premium audio system from the factory with your AM, FM, CD, and uh, auxiliary in right there. Nice and simple to use, and it sounds great. Down below there, dual zone automatic climate control. Once again, all nice and simple to use, fan speed and everything else down there. Heated seats for the driver and passenger down below, as well as your power trunk on and off, traction control on and off, and uh, your rear wiper controls. More storage, power outlet, as well as two more cup holders, and the wood grain trim does all follow through in the middle. This one does have the six-speed automatic transmission, reverse, like I said, does have a rear backup camera. Back here padded armrest in the center, storage inside of there, and you can move it forwards and back to access this compartment and more underneath of there. And like I said, this itself does open. And overall, inside the seats are very comfortable. They're exactly what you'd expect from Buick. They hold you in very well. They're very plush and comfortable. And like I said, for 160,000 miles, there really are no signs of wear in this interior. It is in excellent shape. Up top, you have your lighted vanity mirrors right there. And in the center, you do have more interior lighting controls, garage link, OnStar built into your mirror. So we'll go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window down, unlock all the doors, and pop the hood right here. I also did forget to mention, you do get your roof rails up top on this one. In the back seat, once again, everything follows through material quality wise. All soft touch material, padded armrest, as well as your uh, wood grain on the door. And inside the back seat, this one does have the two captain's chairs, 
for the second row, and then you have your third row behind there, as well as a console right in the center with a very nice amount of storage inside. It is dual tier as well. Cup holders down there. Like I said, the seats are very comfortable for the rear passengers. Same nice leather as up front. Do you have your rear climate controls right in the center. Control your fan speed, uh, temperature, and then the different zones. More wood grain trim down below as well, and a power outlet. Back seat pockets on each side. And your vents for that are up top as well as more interior lighting controls. Trunk of this one is power opening. Just come up, press, and inside you have a fantastic amount of space. This is with the third row up, with it down, and as you can see it is split folding. That's how much room you get. So. Really, this is a very usable vehicle, and I believe the second row as well at least folds. I think it's removable, but I don't know for sure. Back here as well, do you have uh, your rear floor mat. I believe this is for the second row. Underneath of there is some storage, different tie downs and things like that on the side, as well as a power outlet. And then to bring the third row seating back up, just pull right here. We'll go ahead, bring that back down. On this side, everything follows through. You can access your third row by pulling on that. Right there, and for what it is too, it is a very nice, comfortable third row. You have an excellent amount of room, so you could realistically fit at least two adults back there. You have armrest, cup holders, and all of that on the side as well. And up front, full power passenger seat with power lumbar. Storage compartments down below. And then inside of here, this one does include all of the original owner's literature and everything else right there. And up front, like I said, projector, HID headlights, fog lights right there. And up underneath the hood, it does include GM's 3.6 liter V6, which is running very nice and smooth. And once again, it's very clean and in great shape up underneath of here. Go ahead and close that. We'll step back in, cut this one off. Bring the driver's side, automatic window back up right there. And just cut it off. The wheel chime, reminding you to remove your key, as well as to put the headlights back in automatic mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond, here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video.